Good evening, leading three sport tonight. 42-year-old Anna Richards has inspired the Black Ferns to a thrilling 25-17 win over England and their third successive Women's Rugby World Cup. The Auckland first 5-8 was named player of the tournament after her courageous performances, which included a number of try-saving tackles. Rugby editor Hamish Mackay reports. This number 10 deserved 10 out of 10 for her courage. 42-year-old Anna Richards, time and time again, putting her body on the line for the Black Ferns. The Auckland first 5-8 displayed the effort that was required against an England side who dominated much of the first half. The match was 37 minutes old when the Black Ferns finally hit their mark. Lovely offload by Roscoe. This is Codling. Codling for the corner. Codling to score. Ahead 10-3, the Black Ferns made a perfect start to the second half. Roscoe again the provider. Roscoe offloads into the corner, Mortimer, and try number two. But England were far from done. Repeated infringements from an under-pressure Blackburn scrum saw England awarded a penalty try to close it to 15-10. A third successive world title looked locked and loaded when Victoria Hayway crashed over. But another England try courtesy of their pack made for a thrilling period of injury time. But with the full-time hooter gone, the icing on the cake came from the Black Ferns when wing Stephanie Mortimer outstripped the opposition to lay on a fourth try. A Maria Mas to win the World Cup or not? It's given. It was a really hard game out there and we just had to give it heaps. We've got amazing talent. The girls work really hard, you know, and we want to win. And that's pretty much what it came down to. It was just hard yakka. Hard yakka yielding a third successive World Cup to the Jed Rollins coach side. Blackburn's bringing home the first leg of a World Cup double, leaving the rest up to the All Blacks in 12 months' time. chance on the counter. Tasman and Southland's season so far counted for nothing as their repercharge campaign started with a clean slate in Invercargill. Tasman were first to cross the line. Slips the pass to Malnick. Does he get it down? 
The Southlands soon leveled the score through Watasoni Lotawa. Does he get it down? Not first time. Try here, but given the second. And with four Pool B teams scrapping it out for two semi final spots, Southland secured the edge 17 to 11 at the break. This try is sensational. The winds gusting at Invercargill's rugby park suited Southland's Blair Stewart, who added 13 points with his boot. <laughs> Once again, accurate. Into the wind with the wind. It makes no difference. 20 to 11. But Stewart couldn't control this try to extend the Stags' lead, and they won their first round repercharge 23 to 14. Stewart's got a chip and chase. Does he get it down? Taranaki were favoured to make it through the repercharge, so first they had to get through Northland. To Corlett. Northland replied with their second penalty before lock Dan Goodwin claimed his first try of the competition. 13-7 to Northland at the break with still more to come from the visitors. Video ref Paul Honus rewarded Northland's persistence with a try to Tony Coglin. Then Lafemi Mafi narrowed the 16-point margin and spurred the Amber and Blacks into action. They've got numbers here and they must score. But the late try wasn't enough and Northland celebrated the first repechage upset 23 points to 17. Once they were teammates in the Central Vikings side, but Hawke's Bay and Manawatu locked horns for half an hour before Danny Lee broke the deadlock. Hawke's Bay held the lead 7-0 at the break and up the ante in the second half. They go to the short side, a little kick through, and uh, Derek scores! Manawatu might be winless in the in New Zealand Cup, but they can still put a fine try together. Leon Lover makes the break, heading in field, still going, he's going to score between the posts. Two points in it with 20 left to play, and it was Hawke's Bay that had the muscle to drive over, and the legs to put the game out of contention. Final score, 26-10.